Hello, hello, good humans, and welcome back to this new episode of Addendum Podcast, created in collaboration with the Artists for Society Club at Marinopolis. Artists for Society's mission is to help promote and support local artists of Montreal. So we partner with artists to offer unconventional art workshops to our members while um, promoting uh, the visibility of our artists on social media. So today we are honored and excited to welcome Maryam Nadimi. She's a Persian illumination artist, and she's here today with us to talk to you more about her artistic journey and to make you discover this incredibly unique form of art that is Persian illumination art. So take a listen. Hello, Miriam. Welcome. Welcome. We're super happy to have you with us. And our first question concerns a piece of information that we read on your website, which we have studied in depth. Um, so you mentioned that you started learning the art of calligraphy from age 12. So what drew you to art from such a young age? Actually, that's a very good question. And I think it's also very practical for parents. <laughs> Why? Uh, the answer is that the atmosphere of kids' home during their young age, I think, it's very important and effective uh, in what they will pursue in their life. Uh, this is exactly what uh, had happened for me. Uh, my father is an architecture professor in university, and he is also a calligrapher. So I always had the artistic stuff and the sketches everywhere in my home so actually i kind of had this temptation from my childhood to love art and to do art and uh, i was also used to do very detailed handcrafts and paintings from my childhood and when I came 12, I entered the world of Persian calligraphy, uh, which, is, which I was absolutely in love with that. Persian calligraphy, if I want to tell you, is a very well-known and, and outstanding art, uh, which is the main factor, actually, for formation of Persian illumination. Uh, so... I can say I was naturally guided to this art because I wanted to decorate my calligraphies. So this is actually the main, these are the main reasons I started to do Persian calligraphy. I'm so excited to share my thoughts about this art. Uh, initially, I would like to tell you something which is so important. Uh, what is the message of uh, today in 21st century? What do you think? I will tell you. This is the message. If you want to hang on, you'd better to speed up. Uh, believe me, this is the message. Speed up, no matter it's in your work, in your daily life, in uh, shopping, visiting, even in management, architecture, and even also in uh, teaching, learning, and painting. So in everything, you have to speed up. Uh, and it seems that the uh, quantity is more important than the quality. Going back to our talk about the Persian illumination art. Persian traditional art, basically, uh, like um, Persian illumination or weaving carpets or calligraphy and even the architecture, I can say. Uh, these arts uh, manifest thinking and enjoying every single moment in our life. Uh, they are very detailed and so they prepare a quality time to enjoy and to meditate and to make our imagination fly. Uh, this, these are my thoughts, actually. Uh, and to live the life in, um, in a real way. What is a brief history of Persian illumination art? What was it used to decorate? 
Uh, I could say that these arts are kind of linked to the Persian poetry, which I think the most precious and the spiritual and moral poetry in the world, really. And uh, also this art linked to Quran, our holy book as well. Basically, Persian illumination were created to decorate the precious phrases uh, or poems. So I could say that based on these, um, the most of the masters are such perfect humans. Uh, and um, they try to transfer not only the art, but also humanity to their students. So of course, uh, these art influence not only on my thoughts and my vision, uh, but also on my lifestyle. And this is uh, very uh, fantastic. You learned the art of Tazib from a famous professor in Iran. What was it like? What was your lifestyle like as an artist apprentice? If I want to tell you very simply about uh, living in Iran, I would say that living in Iran is like living in a huge art gallery. And it's very fantastic. And, and of course, some cities of Iran are full of touristic, remarkable sites that I'm really in love with them. Um, as you know, you may know, <laughs> Iran has a very rich uh, history and culture. And as I know, it had a very uh, great impact on the world through art, mm, architecture, poetry, uh, philosophy, medicine. Um, yeah, lots of things. How was growing up in Iran like? What are some of your favorite memories from your home country? My favorite memories, I would say that um, I really miss those um, time uh, when I was visiting Bonn. I really missed it. And also uh, mountain climbing, I would say. Yeah, I, I love my, I really missed it here, actually. So these are my most favorite memories from Iran. You decided to immigrate to Canada in 2007. What were the reasons for your departure? I came to Canada in 2007 to complete my academic field and to gain my PhD, and I did so. Uh, but I, after finishing my PhD, we, because of some family issues, we decided to stay uh, for a longer time. You obtained a PhD in genetics at Université de Montréal. That is very impressive. Genetics are also a very interesting field of study. Why do you choose to study genetics? Do you still work with science today, or do you dedicate your full time to art? Would you say that studying biology has influenced your art in any shape or form? If so, how? Uh, I always loved biology, and, and it might be because of that I love nature. I, I, but at that moment of life that I had to choose between like art or science and to choose my future uh, academic field, uh, my father advised me to continue art and sport. I am satisfied to do and it had a really positive effect. Um, but what I can say about the effect and the influence of my in Persian illumination, we painted uh, nature and mostly like flowers and plants and my major was botany like plant biology and uh, after that genetics in PhD and I feel I myself feel that uh, there's a good harmony among Persian illumination and my academic field and yes I think they had a, a really positive effects um, on each other and also on myself. So yeah, that's it. That's my thought about my uh, academic field and my artistic uh, field. What is one of the major artistic projects that you have undertaken? Um, my main aim in my life is to grow, to be a perfect human. And I think my art uh, helps me in achieving my goal. So I will 
I would like to move slow and steady, step by step, to enjoy doing this art and enjoy tutoring this art to other lovers and uh, to enjoy even to exhibit my art pieces to other people around the world. And at the same time, I'm with this art. And this art, I think, is full of love and peace wherever we have to share it uh, with other people. If you can give one piece of advice to someone who wants to get into art but is doubting themselves, what would it be? Uh, this art really needs uh, patience, accuracy, focus, and love, I would say. And I think in our life, we really need these uh, uh, characteristics to have these characteristics so I strongly suggest to have not these abilities again to come and try this fabulous art because uh, of course this art, art will help them to gain these abilities to have a peace in ourselves and in our world around us I would like to thank you to give me this chance to introduce uh, this art and my thought, the logic behind this art to you. I hope I was able to shed a light uh, on this art and to be able to introduce this art to you and other art lovers. Thank you very much and have a great day.